This video will discuss distinctions between different types of sources, including scholarly articles and popular articles. When completing assignments, such as a research paper or presentation, there are many different types of sources that you may use to get information. You will need to show how your ideas relate to the ideas of others. Different types of sources include many kinds of articles, as well as books, websites, government documents, videos, audio, images, and more. There are a variety of different types of articles that can be used to find information. We will talk about the differences between scholarly peer-reviewed articles, popular articles, and articles from trade journals. We'll cover what they are, how to identify them, and when to use them as sources for your assignments. We'll start by talking about scholarly peer-reviewed articles. Articles in scholarly journals are high-quality resources that are both written by experts and reviewed by experts. Typically, you'll use peer-reviewed articles to support your arguments because of their high quality. The purpose of scholarly peer-reviewed articles is to communicate research findings and scholarly ideas, and to educate readers. Authors of these articles are experts, including scholars and researchers, such as your professors. Authors' credentials are usually listed, including professional degrees, such as a PhD or MD, as well as the institutions where the authors work, such as a college, research institution, or hospital. The audience for scholarly articles usually includes other specialists in the subject area, researchers, and students. The scope of coverage for academic articles is typically very narrow and focuses on specific areas within a subject. If you're interested in a broad topic overview, you might refer to encyclopedia articles instead. The review process for these articles is called peer review. In order to be published, authors submit articles to journals to be reviewed. Articles are carefully reviewed by other experts in that particular field. The reviewing experts may suggest changes and recommend to the editor of the journal whether or not to publish the article. This process can be time consuming and it may take months for an article to be published. Peer reviewed articles include extensive citations that document the source of their information. References allow the reader to easily see where the author got their information. This lends credibility to the source because facts can be verified. References also let the reader expand their research process because they may consult the sources that were cited in the article. The format of scholarly peer-reviewed articles is typically organized to include an abstract or summary, a literature review, and depending on the type of research, sections for methodologies, results, and conclusions. In terms of the appearance of these articles, they are mostly text with some tables and charts. There are few graphics or illustrations unless they are relevant to the article. There are also no advertisements. The language of academic articles is technical and uses the specialized jargon of the field. Also, peer-reviewed articles are usually longer than popular articles and are typically over five pages in length. Here are some examples of academic journals. While academic journals include peer-reviewed articles that discuss original research, they might also include other types of articles such as book reviews, opinion pieces, and news items, which are not considered to be scholarly articles. In contrast to scholarly sources, popular sources are less formal and are not necessarily written for scholars or students. They include magazine and newspaper articles, and they can be useful for getting ideas for a topic and for background information. Popular sources could be appropriate to cite in an assignment, but you might also need to include scholarly sources. Check your assignment details or ask your professor if you're not sure what types of sources are required. You might have a requirement for a certain number of scholarly peer-reviewed sources, but you also may be able to use credible popular sources as supplementary information. The purpose of popular sources is to provide entertainment or news information. Authors of these articles are not necessarily specialists in a particular field. They might have subject expertise, but they are often journalists who may write about a variety of subjects. These authors are typically employed by a magazine or newspaper and could reflect the viewpoints of a particular publication or personal opinion. They also might not be named and author attribution might state staff writer or something similar. Unlike scholarly articles, the audience for popular articles is usually the general public rather than scholars and students. Popular articles usually cover a broad variety of interest stories from different subjects that might refer to research conducted by other people, but they do not actually contain the original research themselves. These articles usually provide summaries of topics and background information. The review process for popular articles is significantly less than scholarly articles. Popular articles may be reviewed by editors who may not have special knowledge of the subject matter. 
Because popular articles include news and magazine articles, the writing and review turnaround time is frequent and may be daily, weekly, or monthly. This is an important distinction between scholarly articles which require much more time to be reviewed by experts and edited before publication. If your topic requires very recent information, these types of sources may be useful to you. Another difference between scholarly and popular articles is that popular articles rarely include citations. Because of this, the reader might not know the sources where the author found their information. Popular articles' appearance also features extensive advertising and colorful covers for marketing. The language used is easy to read, little technical language is used, and specialized terms are often defined. The length of these articles is usually shorter than scholarly articles and can be about 200 words to a few pages. Here are some examples of popular sources. Trade publications are another type of source that you will find in library databases. These can be professional magazines, newsletters, or online publications written by professionals working in a particular field. Their purpose is to provide news, cover trends in the field, discuss opinions, interview leaders, review products, and provide professional support to people working in the field. Articles may be written by members of the profession, journalists, and researchers. Technical language is used, the articles are usually brief, and the publications contain ads. Trade and professional literature resemble scholarly literature, but the content is different because they do not contain research articles. If you need scholarly peer-reviewed sources for your assignment, you can easily search for these sources in library databases. First, go to farmingdale.edu, My FSC on the top right, and select Library on the left. You may choose to search for articles in all databases using the main search box on the top of the page, or you may search individual databases that are useful for particular subjects. Let's start with the search box on the library homepage. I'm going to enter an example search for materials on cyberbullying in middle school. You can see from the top of the page that I have many results. I can refine my results by using the filters on the left column. If you do not see any filters in this column, check off Expand My Results. By looking at material type, I can see the different types of materials that are in the results list. Under the Availability filter, select Peer-Reviewed Journals to limit your results to scholarly resources that are written and reviewed by experts. You may also limit your search by type of article in individual databases. Going back to the library homepage, you will find databases listed by subject in the Research Guides section. You will also find a list of all databases under the main search box at the top of the page. In this case, I'll choose Academic Search Complete, which has resources across many different subjects. After you enter your search terms, you can again filter your results by using the column on the left side by selecting scholarly peer-reviewed journals, academic journals, or a different type of resource. Librarians are available to assist you in searching for all types of resources. Please don't hesitate to contact us.